Hello everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Camelot Pro from Audio Modeling. So Camelot Pro is an interesting uh, application. It's um, somewhere uh, between Adobe perhaps and something like AUM in terms of having features from both of them. But it doesn't really contain anything like uh, a piano roll or things like that. But you can definitely um, create instances of a UV3, bring in tracks uh, um, where you can have backing tracks and so on and so forth. So it's a tool which you use to manage your live performances. And I must admit that it's really good, particularly it has a very good control of external hardware, but not only. So the best way probably to give you an introduction is to have a go at setting up something. So why don't we try? So here's, I just loaded uh, Camelot Pro. So let's click on the plus sign and create a new list. So let's click on from scratch and let's give it a name. So for example, sign for more uh, list. And let's click on proceed. So we have this list, now we double click on it or you can um, click on the dotted points here to rename it and have other options. But this is where really you can see that it has been created as a list and we have only one song that you can see here which is which is called empty song now we click on the triple dot we click rename and let's rename that to sfm song and press enter okay so there it is i double click on it you can see that inside that new song we have a new scene so let's click on the edit there and let's change the name of that scene so why don't we call the SFM scene one. Okay, let's uh, click on proceed. <clears throat> the beauty of this, this is that you can create multiple scene. Again, click on the plus sign from scratch and let's create another one, scene two. Okay, and let's click enter. So we have two scene now. Let's click on the first one and double click on it. Now it moves me on this section here, which is called layers, where I can add my different layers. You can see the reference to song here, song rack, and also the set list rack. So you can expand different section when you have, uh, of course, uh, created something in them, as well as add it, edit them or uh, add something to them. So in this case, let's add the layer. So from scratch, again, let's call it SFM scene one layer one and let's click enter so as you can see a uh, layer has been created under sfm scene one now inside this layer let's click the plus sign let's go to the instrument you can have a hardware instrument to look at the different selection so it's really really good so look on roland for example and you can choose different ones which is great but let's click back and let's go back at the very top and choose instead the software instrument and yeah you have your uh, AUV free. So let's choose the four waves as an example. Now it is loaded, as you can see here, it says loading. Now it has loaded. You can change the output here. You can maximize the window in terms of seeing and the main controls of four ways as well. You can double click on it and you go inside that AUV free and maximize the windows and things like that. And of course you can click here on the keyboard to hear the sound from it. Okay, so let's minimize that. Now, um, let's go click on layer again. So we go out of that view. Let's go now back to scene and let's click on scene two. Okay, then we'll click on that. So similar view, let's add a layer from scratch again. So this time we call these FFM, SFM for some for more scene two layer one again enter so we have a new layer let's click on the plus sign let's add an instrument and by the way you can add the instrument effect midi programs other connectors and so on but for this purpose again let's add another a free again we wait it is loading okay it has loaded now we have the ability to go back to the timeline as you can see here which is great you can see here the through the timeline you can add the different scene here but also backing track which is really good and at the bottom here you see the selection for the layers the key range you can even add your own attachments here is where you have the, your transport control which you can activate and deactivate you can transpose up and down the song 
you have sent to you for your tempo and sync, even your mixer. So in this case, you can just go to your layers, right? Or to the backend track and make all the adjustment. Now let's go back to the timeline. Let's go on the scene and let's click on the plus sign and select the first scene. It asks me to select the position where I want to add the scene and we click done. So you can see the, the scene one has been added. And remember, this is the timeline. So, and, and what is great is that you can switch from one scene to the other and therefore it will be able to switch from one layer to the other and therefore from one instrument to the other. So let's click on the plus sign and let's click on scene two. And let's say that after 13 seconds, we have uh, scene two. And as you can see, now we have both scene, which scenes which have been loaded under the scenes timeline. Okay. Now, <clears throat> one more thing, let's click on the first scene one. Let's click uh, on for the three dots. Let's select the MIDI input and let's make sure, make sure that we have the common lot MIDI input selected and let's click them. Let's go back to the timeline. We do the same on the scene number two to so ensure that we have the right um, uh, MIDI input selected. Okay, let's remove that transport control that go back again to scene scene one and see you in through the timeline. Now I have loaded the um, KB1 and now I'm going to move to it, which is this one. Let's click on add and um, let's select output here and let's select MIDI input from cover lot. Now you can hear that um, we have immediately a sound. So let's go back to um, Camelot Pro. So, and here's where the magic starts. So let's bring up the uh, transport and go back at the beginning, click play, and I go back into KB1 and I click play. And you will see that it's switched from one layer to the other or from one scene to the other. So as you can see, is is switched uh, seamlessly from one scene to the other, which is absolutely fantastic. Other things you can do, for example, you can apply the same concept to the backing track. So you click on the plus here, audio file. I already imported some of them, so let's click on the Space Inf Star, which is one of my composition in Core Gadget. You can select which position you want that to come in. Click on Done, and here it is. Now let's assume that we can, uh, let's add another one really. Let's go back to audio files again, scroll down to the bottom. We have these uh, gadget harmonic program. Let's click on add select. And then let's say that this comes in something like after 11 second and then press okay. You can see here, first of all, <clears throat> and let's minimize the transport. You have the two backing tracks, but you can also have two their individual individual output, which is absolutely fantastic. And what you can also do is change where it finish it ends playing like that. And you can also create some automation as well. So you can scroll up here and you can do something like that. So now I go back and to KB1. Um, and I will play a little bit with the keyboard. You will hear that it is playing a backing track. Then it will move to the other backing track and it will also move from one scene to the other. So let's click on transport and back at the beginning, click play. Okay, so as you can see, it is very, <clears throat> very versatile. You can define your key ranges as well, which is great. So you can limit the key ranges, which is fantastic. You can also click um, on attachment, add your own attachment, which can be a PDF file, or you can have also a notation board. Here is where you can see your mixers. mixer. Look, here is quite great. Let's maximize the backing track. You can see different levels for each of the backing track. And you have a lot of settings. This is where you control your audio, your MIDI, your plugin managers, 
etc etc so it is a, a very interesting tool as um as i mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial it's um definitely uh an app which has features that perhaps something like aum will not have for some feature that perhaps the door will have but i think it's really great for your live performance um management because you can manage the setup really for your night uh, so you can say this track comes in at this point then you change the instrument which can be a software instrument or it, or it can be a hardware instrument um, and you can you know show up some of your files or some of the music etc so it's really good anyway i stop here this was just an introduction to camelot pro i hope you enjoy and see you at the next video thank you bye